Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing the top 10 best hockey movies. Now there's two movies I have to mention before starting my list. Les Boys. I respect that it's a French Quebecer cult classic there, but it's not for me. And I struggled with this one, Van Damme and Sudden Death. I thought I'd count it as a hockey movie, but in the end I just feel it's like an action martial art Van Damme. Movie set in a hockey state, uh, hockey arena. I think it's uh, the old igloo for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And there's some good scenes with the hockey players, real hockey players. And Van Damme actually goes in goal for one scene. <laughs> but in the end, I figured, nah, it's not a real hockey movie. So sit back, relax, and let the show begin. Number 10 is D3, The Mighty Ducks. Released in 1996 and directed by Robert Lieberman. It's my least favorite duck film, but I still enjoy it. Emilio Estevez is front and center on the cover, but he's hardly in it. The Ducks have a new coach, and they're set to take on the arrogant varsity team. For the most part, the cast is all there, and there's some fun scenes with them all on the college campus. I love the Eden Hall filming locations, and the hockey scenes are ridiculous but enjoyable. D3 is fun to revisit once in a while. Number 9 is Goon. Last of the Enforcers. Released in 2017 and directed by Jay Baruchel, this is a fun sequel, and the cast all return with the fantastic addition of Wyatt Russell, son of Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. He has a hockey background, and he looks like a hockey player. He's hilarious in this role. In fact, everyone is hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. I was especially pleased to see Liev Schreiber return. He's such an underrated actor. Overall, this is a very fun hockey flick with some great laugh out loud moments and some brutal fight scenes. Number eight is Goon. Released in 2012 and directed by Michael Douse, this is such a fun, excellent hockey comedy. Sean William Scott plays a bouncer who gets a hockey tryout as an enforcer. Does so well that he gets called up to a minor league team to watch the pack of a Canadian's first round pick, La Flamme. The heavyweight champ of the minors played by Leah Schreiber is excellent. And the final showdown is epic. Also, the scene where Scott stops the puck with his face is brutal. This film is a great time with some great laughs, crazy fights, and fun hockey moments. Goon is a blast. Number 7 is D2 The Mighty Ducks. The quack attack is back, Jack! Released in 1994 and directed by Sam Wiseman, D2 is a fun sequel that's just so ridiculous is great. Although that cover looks kind of strange with the kids blowing bubblegum by Emilio's crotch. And anywho... In this film, Bombay is one step away from the NHL when he blows out his knee. He then accepts a job offer to coach the U.S. Junior Hockey Olympic team. <laughs> this film makes me laugh. The USA team is made up of only ducks. Where's all the other talented hockey players at? And they actually need help, so they recruit some street kid for their Olympic team. <laughs> but still, it's a childhood favorite that I saw in theaters. And Team Iceland and their coach are perfect. Their team in real life would smash the ducks. Number six is Mystery Alaska. Released in 1999 and directed by Jay Roach, this is a solid hockey film with a great all-around cast, fronted by Russell Crowe and Burt Reynolds. The small town of Mystery and their hockey team garner attention through a sports article, and the New York Rangers arrange an exhibition game to play them. I love the isolated small town snowy mountain setting. The hockey scenes are well done, and it's hilarious to see Russell Crowe as a hockey player. Mystery Alaska is a solid film all around. Number five is The Rocket. Released in 2005 and directed by Charles Benamé, the film is French and English. This is an excellent depiction of the Habs legend Morris The Rocket Richard. It's amazing to see how hockey was back in the 40s and 50s. Most players like The Rocket would have a second job. The players weren't paid huge sums of cash like nowadays. They played for the love of the game, and the thought of losing would make them ill. That's why now I only watch sports for entertainment purposes. I don't allow a sports team to ruin my day if they don't win. The Rocket is excellent, and it's nice to revisit that era. The full film is on YouTube, check it out. Number 4 is Miracle. Released in 2004 and directed by Gavin O'Connor, I love this film. Kurt Russell plays Herb Brooks, coach of the U.S. Olympic hockey team in 1980. They would go on to beat the Invincible Russians for one of the greatest upsets in sports history. Kurt Russell is phenomenal, and the cast of hockey players are excellent in their roles. The hockey scenes are top-notch. And Russell yelling at the players is truly some excellent acting by the legend. Miracle is excellent. Number three is Slapshot. 
released in 1977 and directed by George Roy Hill. I love Slapshot. It's a classic. Paul Newman plays a hockey player slash coach for the Chiefs. Their team sucks, and their team is about to fold. So Newman enlists the help of the Hanson brothers to start shaking things up. Man, are they nuts. There's some great all-out brawls. The team starts to become more exciting and actually start to win some games. I love the cast, and there's so many hilarious moments. Slapshot is a must-see. Number two is the Mighty Ducks. Quack. Quack. Quack, 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 go Ducks! Released in 1992 and directed by Stephen Herrick. I love this film. It's a childhood favorite that never gets old. Emilio plays a hotshot attorney who's caught drinking and driving. He's sentenced to community service to coach a peewee hockey team. The cast all around is excellent. I love when Emilio meets the kids for the first time. <laughs> the hockey scenes are awesome but ridiculous. I swear, there's one scene where Adam Banks is on a breakaway and they cut to the bench of the kids cheering. And you see Banks in the middle cheering as well. <laughs> but anyways, Lane Smith as the bad coach. Jack Riley is one of my favorite coaches in sports history. And the Queen music is top notch. This film is a classic. Number one is Youngblood. Released in 1986 and directed by Peter Marco. I love this film so much. I've seen it so many times. Stars Rob Lowe and Patrick Swayze, who play for the Hamilton Mustangs. I love all the hockey scenes, and Ed Lauder as the coach is another one of my favorites. Also, the ending fight scene with Rob Lowe taking on the heavyweight Carl Rocky is iconic. Also, love the bar scene where everyone's getting wasted. You even got a young Keanu Reeves playing the goalie. And remember, folks, there ain't nothing better than tea with Miss McGill. <laughs> young Blood is my favorite hockey film and never gets old. Anyway, so that's the list, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Going up. In the office, baby. Good day, Glenn.